y'all and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Marissa and I am so glad that you are here. In today's video, I am canning blackberry peach jam. Um, if you've seen a few of my other videos, you know that I got a lot of peaches. I get a lot of peaches every summer because my father-in-law's friend goes to South Carolina and then he always brings peaches back for us. So I ended up with a bushel and a half this summer that I have been we have been eating and enjoying and then I have been trying to find ways to preserve them and um, this I think was the third method that I did the first thing I did was peach pie filling and then I did peach barbecue sauce and now I'm doing this jam and then um, I've also canned and I'll include that picture at the end of this video just peaches just regular um, I didn't video that it's just it's uh well i'll tell you about that when i at the, when i show you the picture at the end so all i'm doing here is i'm adding all of my ingredients to the pot it is one and a half quarts of blackberries i've i used um frozen berries and i i had footage of me putting all of that in here but i don't know what happened to it i guess i accidentally deleted it but it is a quart and a half of blackberries a quart and a half of diced pizza pizza diced peaches which was about nine peaches, and I got, um, some of them were kind of small, so I used two of the smaller ones to equal one. It calls for six cups of sugar, a fourth of a cup of lemon juice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, um, a half teaspoon of allspice, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, and two three-ounce pouches of pectin, and I used sure gel so all i did was i got all of that in the pot and i well not the pectin i don't have that in there yet um get it hot because it it helps the immersion blender to blend it up when it's not like the berries are not still frozen so i have all of this in the pot and i'm going to make it super super smooth um, i left the skin on the peaches I said before, I just like the nutritional value that it gives, plus it's easier, it's an extra step I didn't have to do. And so I got all of that um, blended together, and then I'm going to um, add the pectin here in just a minute. I have it um, boiling over medium, I'm going to bring it to a bowl, over medium high heat, and I'm gonna keep stirring, and then I'm gonna stir in the pectin, bring that mixture to a rolling boil, and then boil hard for one minute to like the gelling point gelling point and um, once that is done then i have my jars heating in the water bath canner now on this night i all this is the night that i did the peach barbecue sauce as well so i am canning the peach barbecue sauce and the peach um, uh, blackberry peach jam in the same canner together so if you see that extra stuff in this video that's what I was doing and if you missed that video of where I did the peach barbecue sauce you can go back and watch it it is on my canning playlist and it's the video right before this one so I'm going to get all of this stirred down I'm going to bring it uh, to a hard boil hard boil is just when you stir it it doesn't stop boiling you can't boil it down <coughs> And now I am getting my jars ready. I had them in the water bath canner in the, in the water to um, keep them hot because I am putting a very hot liquid and your jars need to be I mean, hot and your water in your water bath canner also needs to be hot. And every time I water bath can, I go ahead and sterilize my lids and my rings in some very, very hot water. Um, I don't do that f every time for pro um, the pressure canner but I do always do it for water bath canning to me it's just a little bit of extra um, protection so I'm going to fill up my jars I think that I ended up with three pint jars and two four six seven um, eight ounce jars and I'm going to fill up my jars here and I'm going to leave a fourth of an inch head space and then I'm going to get my rings on there. Always debubble and always check your headspace before you um, 
and wash the rims with vinegar before you get your lids on there. Watching this video back, I just, I can't help but smile because I'm just so excited about canning. I, this is my second year canning. It's something I kind of always wanted to do. And a few years ago, I did try um, canning some green beans. My aunt had given me a big bushel of green beans and we picked them. I mean, I picked them, we snapped them and we got them ready. And a sweet lady from my church let me borrow her pressure canner and she showed me and told me all that I needed to do. And I loved it. I, I, I enjoyed those green beans so much. But I never had the time to really um, do it to the extent that I'm doing it now. And I was teaching school and coaching volleyball and just all kinds of different things back in that time of my life. But now I am, you know, my kids are grown. They're graduated. They're, out, they're not, well, one is out of the house, married. And I have a little grandbaby that I keep three days a week. And so this is this was something that i needed to do um it just it just makes me smile and every time every single time i am canning something i just i take a moment and i thank the lord for allowing me the opportunity to be able to do this because it is just i don't know how to explain it i don't really have the words i just love canning i love preserving food and i'm loving my garden it's it's been a big learning experience and hopefully next year I'll be able to plant another garden and I will take the things that I've learned from this year, incorporate it into next year's garden and then do some more canning. Um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so thankful and I'm so excited and I'm glad that you guys are watching this video. I hope that it gives you some kind of motivation or encouragement to start if you've not, if you've not, if you don't can and it might be something that you've looked into or wanted to do. Hopefully this video can kind of inspire you. Um, I have several videos still to come with, with canning and preserving foods. And so um, if, you've not, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And you will know when I upload. And you will see some of these other videos that I'm putting out with canning. Um, yeah. So anyway, I processed these in the water bath canner for 10 minutes. I let them sit for 5 minutes after... The timer was over because you don't want to get it out too soon and the change in the temperature from the hot water into the um, air in the room it just it can mess things up and so yeah I am so glad that you guys um, are here I appreciate y'all so much watching my videos and I love commenting I love the comments that you guys are leaving me I love chatting with you in the comments and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Like I said, I'm doing more canning videos. I do cooking videos. I do cleaning videos. I've done grocery hauls. I've done antique shopping and hauls. I just, whatever hits my fancy, you know, that's what I'm going to do. And I would love to have you guys follow along, be part of this channel's family. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the peaches that I just diced up and put um, just canned those. Some of them I just diced up and threw in the jars and then some of them I actually did slices like the half slice and I did those for my father-in-law because that's the way he said his mama used to do them and so I'm just kind of letting it be nostalgic for him. But I just all I did was put a um, teaspoon of lemon juice, a, a little squirt of honey and then filled it up with hot water and then process them in the water bath. And so these are gonna be great on my shelf as well. That is it for today's video. Again, thank you guys for stopping by and I hope to see you next time. Bye.